let's all say a little prayer for my security deposit. <sighs> it's on to better adventures and a possible house. I'm ready. This is really happening. Hi friends, how are ya? I hope you're ready. Cause this is gonna be a very full vlog. It is time to officially pack up and move out of this apartment. Crazy. I don't, time has flown. So I just got back to Austin like 15 minutes ago. Um, I was supposed to be in Waco today cause Jordy was supposed to have a show in Waco but it got rained out. So I'm kind of glad to be in Austin a day early. And Jordy scheduled a couple days in the middle of his tour to help me pack, which is really sweet. So he's actually currently getting all of my packages for me and unboxing them and taking the cardboard out and we're gonna kind of ease into packing today, probably do a Home Depot run, but I'm gonna unpack my suitcase, open all my packages, do things like that. And I'm so happy to mix. I of course had a cuddle session with Max when I got home um, and that has been lovely, but some fun things came in the mail. So I think before we get the ball rolling with packing and stuff, we go through all of that. What do you say? I missed you so much. But you had so much fun with Davina and Micah, huh? Yeah, I got pictures of you on walks every single day yeah it's so sweet he unboxed all of my mail for me and just laid it all out here and then this is the thing i want to go through with y'all sorry if the lighting's funny rainy days always throw me off but this is the last butcher box of this apartment i'm getting to work with them on today's video i think i will probably continue to send myself butcher boxes to my parents address a because they would eat it with me, but so I have like my, you know, good quality meats in Texas. But I love Butcher Box. If you eat meat, I swear by this, this is the best way to get like super high quality meats at a reasonable price point because they deliver it to you in like one big box at once. So I normally just get like one of these a month and it ties me over. I'll show you what I got this time, but they are doing a promotion that is so good. I first kind of thought it was a joke. I did a TikTok about it because I was like, how is this even possible? But if you haven't signed up with them before and this is your first time signing up from October 17th through November 13th, if you sign up using my link down below, you get two things. You get $10 off with a promo code 10 turkey and Max is going through my suitcase just a sec. And you get a free 10 to 14 pound turkey in your first box. So this and $10 off. And I was like, turkeys are really expensive, especially this type of quality of turkey. This is all natural, all vegetable diet, no preservatives, raised without antibiotics, complete traceability to farm, gluten-free, certified B Corp, like top of the line turkey. So that's a really good Thanksgiving hack because turkeys are pricey. If you've been thinking about ButcherBox, you can get yours for free in your first box and actually save 10 bucks as well. But I'll show you what I got for my last box to tie me over in Texas. I love their fish. So I got cod and salmon this time. Fish is certified sustainable and sustainably harvested, wild caught. All of their seafood is actually wild caught. If you like bacon, their bacon is so good. The applewood smoked uncured bacon. All their pork is raised crate free. Okay, did you know there's a difference between grass fed and grass finished. It means that they're actually grass fed their whole life. All their beef is grass fed and grass finished. And I knew Jordy was gonna be in town and he loves to cook steaks. So I got a strip loin steak, a ranch steak, and this is my favorite, the filet mignon. If you wanna read more about it, they really care about sustainability and, and they're a certified B Corp. So you can go and read all of the information. I've just found that if I find this quality of meat, of steaks and of seafood out at grocery stores, it is so much more expensive and it's just really convenient to have it delivered to you all at once and also be saving money as compared to getting it in the store. And I just, it's hard to trust what you're getting in the store. It's hard to put in that research. So it's nice that I personally feel like I can just trust that all of this is clean, good, awesome, high quality meat. So I love getting to work with them. Thanks to ButcherBox for partnering with me. I'll have that link down below. If you're watching this before the promotion is over and you want a free turkey and $10 off, like, Pretty good deal. Look at this bad boy. He's big. <laughs> Another thing that came in the mail while I was gone is a candle. And 
Isn't this, I don't really know much about this brand replica. Isn't that the perfume brand that like kind of popped off this last year? Y'all know I love a nice candle. This is called By the Fireside and it's supposed to smell like burning wood and chestnut. Last time I packed my house in California, I burned the same candle the whole time and it was actually the homesick Texas candle to just kind of like, you know, have some sweet associations of like, oh, I'll be in Texas soon. And I was like, maybe this is the candle I burned the whole time I'm packing up this place. Oh my God. That is delicious. <laughs> it's very strong. It smells really good. It's really pretty. It smells like a straight up campfire, but a little sweet. Should this, should this be the candle that we burn while we pack up this apartment? What are you doing? <laughs> Look who's here. Oh, hey. Back from helping me with all the packages and the cardboard. You helped me on tour. Yeah, but I appreciate it a lot. And I think we're gonna do a Home Depot run. Let's do it. What all do we need? We need, well, boxes and uh, tape. tape and bubble wrap and like the plate yeah. wrap. Do we need stuff for like holes in the wall? Cause like taking down uh, not yet. those shelves are gonna leave pretty big holes. Let's, I say let's get everything and then we probably, we probably will need a second run. Do you think? Yeah. Home That's Depot is the, the sponsor of all moving things, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't you? Let's move it. Don't you know? Let's move it. Okay, I'm ready. This is really happening. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> all the Christmas trees here are making me so excited. I won't have an apartment to decorate for Christmas this year, but I love decorating my parents' tree with them, so we'll have to do that. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. just in an effort of total transparency got all the boxes um, and I started thinking through okay where do I start and then I just got weirdly emotional which is funny because I move all the time and I never get emotional about moving but I think that this apartment just held so many memories for me that it feels different so I had a good chat and a little bit of a good cry. And Jordy and I went around to every room thanking it for all the memories and the safety and the um, protection and the space for healing that it gave me. And I feel a lot better. I feel like I, like as of tomorrow, like these shelves will probably be gone. So this apartment won't look the way it does after tonight. So I think that that was just kind of hitting me all at once. And I think what our plan is, probably pack away things that are like super non-essential that I know for sure I will not need because I think I'm getting a little in my head about what are things that I will need versus could need versus won't need. And I think won't need is the easiest to wrap my mind around right now. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. Good 
Morning. It's the next day. I'm getting ready and I figured while I get ready, I'll give you a little update on what I think today holds. Sweet. Jordy has been so sweet and so helpful. And he just came to pick up my car and he's uh, going to go wash and vacuum it before I start putting things in it. So it's just like clean, fresh slate before I put my road rig, we're calling it, inside of it. But I think the main focus today is going to be taking things off walls because this is the only full day I really have with him and like taking down shelves, TV, curtain rods, big heavy art, things like that are things that I feel just more comfortable doing with someone else. So I think that's gonna be the main focus. We also have lunch plans today with my friend Jensie, maybe dinner plans with the rest of the band because they are in Austin today as well. Trying to mix in productivity with social things. It's hard to know like how fast do I wanna pack things because I'm here for the next week and I don't wanna live in a fully packed apartment but I don't wanna leave too much till the last second and then be overwhelmed so I'm just kind of trying to figure out what that healthy balance is. I think that we've been doing a good job, at least yesterday, of like feeling feelings <laughs> and remaining productive without doing too much one or the other. I really love this tinted balm. I wore it yesterday, I wanna show y'all. But um, first let me show you this. And then one other thing I wanna tell you before we officially start the hustle, we call it. It's like kind of sticky in a good way, so it stays really dewy. I really like it. But the thing I wanted to tell y'all, so I ended off the last vlog in the venue in I think Oklahoma City in that blue green room. And right after I stopped filming, I sat down at the table, did a little computer work, stood up from the table to try to go to the bathroom. And my heel got caught in the chair and I fell so hard. Juliana and Evan were in the room and they were like, no, really, are you okay? Because that was really bad. And I was like, I think I'm fine. But I was frazzled. Look at my knees. Look at that one. That one's the worst one. And then this one has like a few different bruises. I can't even show you that side. But I ate it so hard. It was one of those falls where you're like, okay, I'm done falling now. And then you just keep falling. I was like, how does a fall last this long? I was this close to whacking my head on the corner of a counter also. Oh, that would have been so bad. We're recovering over here. It was a little physically brutal week and I have like several parts like this armpit, this shoulder, and my left butt cheek are so sore. And at first I was like, what did I do? And then I realized, oh, I just fell really hard and I probably strained things. I like cut my thumb. I, it was really brutal. That's just my update. I'm gonna finish getting ready. By the time I'm ready, Jordy will probably be here. I'll probably start taking things off walls. That'll be kind of sad. <sighs> it's on to better adventures and a possible house. Jordy texted saying, I've gone to three car washing spots and all the vacuums are broken, so I'm at a new, a fourth. <laughs> so while I'm waiting, I think what I'm gonna think through is like all of my beauty things. I think I've decided that this carrier from base is too small for skincare. So I think I'm gonna make it my makeup carrier because I have more I'll take on the road than what's in here. And this is already like pretty overloaded. And then um, I'll probably use, this holds quite a bit. This is what I used to use for skincare and maybe also a body care little bag like lotion and soap and things like that so I'm just gonna kind of see what i can fit and wear and see what makes sense Feeling really good. I got all my like skincare toiletries pretty much to here besides like refills that I'll have in my storage unit. These are body things like lotion, self tanner, um, like an exfoliating scrub, things like that. And then I cleared out all of my makeup and sorted between, except for these couple sunscreens, I need to see if anything's left, sorted between giveaway and expired. I had a lot of expired. The only like extras I kept are in here. And otherwise, everything else I have in here to take on the road. And this is a lot more than I use on average. Like, I don't really ever use this and like lipsticks and stuff I don't really use, but figured this, I kind of want to play around with more. Figured it's nice to just have it on hand and it all fits really well. I have like tweezers and smaller things up here, makeup brushes and little like eyebrow things up here, makeup mirror. 
this definitely works a lot better for makeup than skincare in my opinion the next thing I want to kind of think through is a max backpack of just everything he needs. I'm trying to figure out the best way to take his food, but I think just like in one of these that I keep his food in. Oh, did you hear your name? And then did you hear the word food? <laughs> but I figured like all of his toys, grooming, treats, things like that should all go in this backpack. We got your brush. We got your little treat mat, which is good for mental stimulation. Your poop bags, which I'm just going to take out of this box to save space. Those aren't very fun. This shampoo's almost out. We should use it one more time and just use it up. What do you think? Okay, cool. Jordy's doing storage unit runs for me while I stay back and organize. So these are like all the things from my dresser that I don't want to take with me but might need access to, like extra sleep stuff, whatever. These are all extra beauty things. It's fucking up in there. I don't know why, but refills, body stuff, and then the last little bit of hanging clothes. Thank you. You look very cute and a little bit sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's officially evening. We've done a lot of really good work. The last thing though for the day, I'm actually really anxious about. Do you know the temporary wallpaper I put on my island? I probably have footage from putting it on my island back in February, but um, great idea. I've used temporary wallpaper in so many rentals. I've used it on walls, I've used it on mirrors, I've used it on fireplaces, but once I taped some lights in my bathroom and it has the same kind of wood applique and I pulled off the tape and the, the wood applique just rips like paper. It's basically a very thin paper pattern of wood and I'm really worried that that is what's behind this wallpaper and I'm really worried that when I take off the wallpaper, Minions just drove by on a bike. It's Halloween week and that was just very disorienting. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid of when I take off that wallpaper, I will rip off the wood applique on the island and therefore lose my security deposit, which would be no one's fault but my own. Very well deserved, honestly. But I think we're gonna try a two person method of heating it. I still have my old hair dryer that gets very hot, so it's bad for hair, but I've been specifically keeping it for this wallpaper. I think I'm gonna try to heat it with the hair dryer as either I try to pull it off or Jordy tries to pull it off to make the adhesive a little less brutal. But the sun's going down, so I wanted to tell you that plan in the little bit of light we have before we, we try it inside. Let's all say a little prayer for my security deposit and then I get it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, I really had nightmares about this. I mean, I shouldn't jinx it too soon. Oh my gosh. They made a good product. The rental wallpaper wins again. Oh. Love it. Oh. You did it. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, okay, okay. I was expecting it to be worse. No. In my nightmares. It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be, but we did we did have a little casualty, and that's one of the three panels. So but don't you agree that adding that was a good move? Doesn't this look very bachelor pad? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of matches the floor, but like yeah. 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 Would anyone normal notice? No. Would I notice? Juliana's on our way to meet us for dinner, who y'all know by now. Um I would call it not a full fail, but a fail. We've also packed some vases and the last that we keep saying, the last thing we're gonna do, but then we have more time, is um, pack the little organizers. Here, I'll show you what they look like in here. If you saw the vlog prepping for this, you've seen this, and this is what I'm gonna use to store like all of my folded clothes on the road instead of in a suitcase. And so just get all those kind of packed and 
then this dresser will be empty, which will be really nice. Ah, oh, it's all happening. Yesterday was my Sabbath, so I didn't vlog, but today it's Monday. We, it's actually Halloween. We are back on it. Full productive day. I'm just getting a little bit of computer stuff done. What I have my coffee and also kind of thinking through the plan of today. I'll probably vlog the first half of this day and then start the next vlog a little bit later. It's funny because it's like hard to conceptualize how much you have left. Like I'm like, okay, cabinets are 70% empty, but I feel like it always surprises you how much is left. I will say I'm so glad that my number one way I de-stress is declutter because that makes moving a lot easier when I'm only packing essentials and not having to organize what I want to keep versus not and all that kind of stuff. I've just had to throw away some expired product and otherwise a small little donate bag that I actually brought to the band and they were, they trick or treated out of like you know, a couple little supplement beauty things. So that was a lot of fun. So we're gonna have a really good productive Halloween Monday. See what else we can get done. Ooh, things are feeling out of place, but something I did for myself that feels really good is I did a little home workout. I've been, I mean little home workout. I've been doing this, this same thing almost, I would say maybe like four days a week where I play three songs. The first two I do like squats and lunges, just super randomly or like kickbacks just to the beat. And then the third song, I do a little bit of arms with these weights and sometimes abs if I feel like it. So literally three songs, it's like maybe 12 minutes. But the next day I've been waking up and I'm like, okay, I feel it. I think I'm building muscle. Slowly but surely anything's better than nothing. But I also am officially almost through this candle. Well, a little more than half and it is so delicious. I'm really, I'm really, really into it. But I Googled the price. <sighs> Uh, it's out of my usual candle budget price range, so I'll just enjoy this one while I have it. <laughs> just wanted to end off this vlog with a little car chat, because I, I spent yesterday thinking, I feel like this move has brought up a little uh, more emotions than I was expecting, and I move all the time. I've consistently moved every year since the age of 17, so eight years in a row, eight moves in eight years, maybe actually even more than that, and I love moving. Like, it is so fun for me, and... For some reason, this time, I've had just more emotions around it, which has been very weird and confusing. And I, a few things. I think first, a reason I get really excited to move is like I've already planned out the next spot, like where everything's going to go. I get really excited for decorating. And I think that this is the first time that I don't have that, which is just different. But I was talking to Jordy yesterday. And by the way, he's gone on the rest of his tour. by Jordy. I was talking to him yesterday and something about me and my personality is dates and anniversaries are like super important to me. I feel like, you know, the world works in a cyclical way, an annual way, and kind of so does my body and my memories. And so like anniversaries, holidays, birthdays, all those things mean a lot to me. And it just so happens that leases are exactly a year. So at this exact time last year, I was packing and moving and it was the first time that it wasn't necessarily for fun reasons. It was for hard, sad, emotional reasons. So I think that since that was my last experience moving and since it was the exact same time last year and I'm doing it again, the fact that it's the anniversary of moving in a hard way for the first time and that I am repeating the same actions might just be kind of stirring up some lingering feelings and associations that I didn't realize were there because they were really dormant. Um, and so like once I recognized that, I was like, this makes sense. Putting these feelings here where I can you know, acknowledge them and then also recognize how freaking excited I am for the next few months. This is something that I've been talking about doing for honestly, 
I don't remember if I told y'all this, but um, before moving into this apartment, I actually looked into doing six months of nomad things. I wanted to do a city a month for six months, but then I decided that the timing probably wasn't good. I should probably get settled, be near family. And so now that I feel like I have settled and did that for a year, I'm like, okay, I've been wanting to do this for over a year now. It's finally time and I'm really so excited about all the people I'm going to get to see, the increased time I have with family, the increased time I have with friends, um, the increased time I'll have with Max, the money I'll be saving. And it, so it's nice to acknowledge the hard feelings, recognize why, and then now I'm allowing myself to get excited again about what's around the corner and the adventure ahead and the financial stability ahead by doing this for a little bit and the fact that no decision has to be permanent. I think that's another thing that we do as humans is we get really in our head about, I've decided I'm going to do this, so I have to do it. I could do this for a month, two months, and be like, never mind, I'm canceling January and I'm just going to move into an apartment here in Austin. But I'm hoping I stick it through because I am really looking forward to it, giving myself permission to change my mind if it's not what I think. I also am giving myself permission to um, let go of my hope that I can buy a house because there's so many things outside of my control. And I think it was just a good, healthy, reflective day yesterday. So that's what I'm feeling. I always like to try to have a moment in the vlog where I connect with y'all on a deeper level because that's real life, you know? Um, I'm trying to always avoid just surface level content and continue to invite y'all in as my friends and as my community to how I'm feeling and the things that are happening. So I'm gonna start another packing vlog right now. Um, so that'll be the next video you see. I'm gonna pick it up right here. <laughs> but I wanted to say thanks again to ButcherBox for partnering with me on this video. Um, it'll be fun to have the last few steak dinners. I think I'm having Jacqueline and Mark over and we're gonna cook some good food and I'm thankful for that. So don't forget that that turkey deal is happening. I'll have that link down below. Click on it, get a free turkey, wallets valid, and $10 off with code 10turkey. I'll have all that in the description. So thank you to ButcherBox. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I will see you in a video for me, like literally right now. <laughs> Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?